Hi, I'm Rochelle. And I'm Danielle. We're the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. This video is all about Katie, the wig that we are both wearing. Katie is an amazing style, very versatile, great for all ages, and she comes in a ton of colors. And you're gonna see them all right all. now. <laughs> yes, so she comes in rooted colors and non-rooted colors. In this video, we're gonna combine all of them. Are you up to it, honey? You've been working really hard lately. <laughs> so get a pen and a piece of paper, take notes on the colors you like, because every color you see is available in many different wigs and hair pieces of ours as well. Yeah. That's all I got. So, this is Katie. And this is Katie. And I had to start in Silverstone, just for those of you out there. Yes. I didn't want you to go through the whole line of Katie's <laughs> waiting for your Silverstone. So here she is. She also comes in Sandy Silver, which you'll see later. <laughs> okay. But now. So we're going to, so Katie is uh, like, you know, just above the shoulder. She has a little flip. Her bang is, I'll show you what the bang goes to. So it's kind of a little long. So what's nice is it's long enough that you can easily just push it to the side and it stays. Or you can just trim that little bit right out of your eyes if you want a bang that comes mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Also, she is long enough that you can do like a short little ponytail. You can pull up your sides and do a half ponytail. Show it, honey. Show it. I am. <laughs> so. Like I said, she's long enough that you could really do some fun different things with her, not just wear her down. You know what I love to do? No. I love to make two oh, yes, little pigtails <laughs> with Katie yeah. and wear some jeans and a t-shirt. It is so cute. Really cute. <laughs> I've never done that. But... <laughs> How come I'm the quirkier one of the two of us? I, I don't know. <laughs> You're green with me. Okay. <laughs> so, I am, and quirky and proud of it. Yeah. So we're going to go through all the colors. We're going to go from browns to reds to blondes and the grays at the end. So like I said, get your pen and paper out. Let's get started. Let's go. I might need to stop for like a water break halfway through. But <laughs> Bathroom break. <laughs> yeah. So I'm wearing the darkest color that Katie comes in, which is cappuccino. So this is going to be just a very rich, warm, dark brown color, where Rochelle is wearing dark chocolate, which is going to be a dark but cool dark brown color. Cool. cool. She's cooler and very I'm just cool. cool. So here you can really see next to each other, I want you to see really close, I just smell her head, okay, it's good. Um, the cool dark brown versus the warm dark brown. You really see that. Can you see it? Okay, good. They said yes. Okay, we'll do our turn so you can see what the back looks like. And it's just so cute and layered and flippy. Yes. Okay, so now I'm moving on. And it's stuck to my hair. Okay. I'm going to be putting on the chocolate swirl, which is still a dark brown, but you're going to notice we're starting to have a little highlight coming in. And some great little blonde highlights around. Wait till the you face. see this color. Up at the hairline, even my tabs. And then you just kind of put. Mm. So, just so you know, none of these wigs have been cut, trimmed, they've never even been played with. Um, we're actually seeing them as you see them. We've never even put these on. This is the truth, yeah. okay? <laughs> <laughs> we just want, we want to put them on exactly how they would come to you so you can see exactly how to play with them and what they would look like. So this is the chocolate swirl color. So the, Gorgeous. It is, Gorgeous. So the base is a dark brown, but it has some lighter, almost reddish brown and some very light blonde highlights this. through it. Mm. It looks like you got a really expensive dye job. Great. So here we go. So next, Rochelle is putting on ginger brown. So ginger brown, you'll notice, is kind of like similar to the chocolate swirl, but without that blonde. And so don't be afraid, okay? <laughs> Just, and when you start playing with your wig, have your hands washed and clean, no makeup, no grease, because it will just make your wig dirtier sooner. 
So this way it's just clean and beautiful. And you'll notice Rochelle and I don't really use brushes much to play with the wigs. We mainly use our fingers. So feel free to just try using your hands. Mm -hmm. um, what I like about using my fingers, I feel like it doesn't have as much of a perfect look. When I use a brush, I feel like it starts looking a little bit wiggy sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's why you try just your fingers first. Yeah, cute. So you'll see it kind of is a similar color, but without the blonde, that ginger brown. So next, I am putting on, thank you. I'll be your assistant. <laughs> Raisin H. So this is gonna be the darkest rooted color that we have. And it's kind of a, like a golden, kind of golden brown, I guess you could say. And then it has what we call roots. So I will show you what those are in a second. So again, mm -hmm. here I am. I so already love it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so much. I'm nuts. This is the disguised <laughs> look. So again, at the hairline, even your tabs, and then kind of just, I just kind of bring the front yes. down a little. That's, I mean, that was it. That was like three seconds or something. So when we say rooted, that means here at the base, this darker brown color, it's to give the illusion of roots or like your, your own hair is growing out. So it has a very natural look. And for me, I prefer rooted colors if I'm going to do anything more than a dark, like anything lighter than a dark brown, because my eyebrows are really dark. So that way, even if I'm talking behind the ear or anything, my dark makes sense with this dark up here. Right. And Danielle, just to talk about this color yes, moment. Yes. When we're talking about warm tones versus cool, yes. definitely a warm tone. Yes just beautiful and if you're a medium brown maybe you've never colored your hair consider this color for a wig mm -hmm. because it's got just very subtle highlights but the little they're not blonde but they're little brighter highlights it like just a light brightens. golden right a light soft golden and just beautiful beautiful yes and i just want to show you just by patting it down with my hands great point I can get it so much flatter. Look at that. Totally different, right? I can wear it right out. Maybe I will. <laughs> so Rochelle is going to put on the next color, which is called Almond Spice. So oh, Almond yay. Spice has like pretty much the same base as the raisin that I'm wearing, but you'll see it has these added really light, beautiful blonde highlights around the face. See that? Uh huh. Look at those beautiful, almost like champagne blonde highlights. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty. I always remember a client in a store years ago, one of our stores, and she just loved to pump up Katie. Yeah. And I know yeah. there's some of you, so I just want to show you. Just she wanted that, just a wild, just a messy look, and. And we sell a low alcohol hairspray made for our synthetic wigs. So if you like it really full, you can use the hairspray as well to keep it there. Right. But yes, these colors. Look at the highlights. Almond Spice is one of my personal favorites because yes. this highlighting, subtle but beautiful. Yes. None of our highlighting is overdone, stripey. It's right. all just beautiful and natural. Yes. So you'll see when we do the turn, the back pretty much looks the same. It's just that. <laughs> I had to look. You know, <laughs> but the front is going to be the main difference. Yes. I feel good in this color. Good. I feel glamorous. It is. It's very pretty. I like it. What do you think? Let us know. So I'm going to put on the next color, which is called Almond Roca. So this one has like a, a deeper base. You're going to see it has more of a, what do, you kind of, what do you call this kind of color? Not a copper, like a, you know, yes, maybe like copper. A, <laughs> yes, like a very soft, not a yeah, brassy. Right. We don't choose colors that are brassy no. at all. It's very subtle, but yeah. oh, the highlighting, it's so natural. Yes. 
So this is the Almond Roca. So both these colors have a lot of highlights, but you can really see the difference with them so next to each other. So will you lean in looking this way so everyone I want to see too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So Almond Spice, little whiter, brighter blondes. Right. Yes. All right. Let's, let's Gorgeous. do it. Gorgeous. <laughs> Next, moving right along, Rochelle is going to be putting on a non-rooted color. This root, this color is called medium brown. And so, if you're new to wigs, I just want to show you. Danielle holds the top of the wig. Here's the tag. It's facing us, and then just brushing back. How'd I do, honey? Perfect. It's like you've done this before, me. Because Katie <laughs> is a machine teased wig, like right. many of ours. And so just by brushing back, it right. gives it that natural lift. Yeah, because especially like when it's been traveling to you or maybe it's been sitting folded up for a while, I feel like that middle hair can just get like smushed down a little bit. So by doing that quick little brush, it just breaks it mm -hmm. up and makes it look more realistic. So just to show you some different parts, because show me, I can part this way. I can flatten it down if I want. I can give it a little center part. Oh, that's cute. And I can even zigzag any wig I want, which would show up more on a rooted wig. But look, I can change the whole part, honey. It's good in every every direction. Yeah, it's just great. Yeah, I just want messy. So this is a medium brown, so it's not gonna have any like major highlighting. It's really just a fine blend of a medium brown and a little bit lighter brown, but it's a very fine blend. So if you're looking natural. for something just super natural, no highlights, medium brown is a wonderful color. Yes, if you have some virgin brown hair, medium, this is your girl. That's you. Okay, so next I am putting on, I don't know what I'm Toasted brown. <laughs> Great. So toasted brown kind of can fall in as a reddish color or a brownish color. She is um, kind of a medium brown, but she has this light, like light reddish brown all throughout her. So a lot of our colors, it's sometimes hard to classify the color because it's not just one color. It may be a brown, right. but it has a lot of red. So it could be a brown or a red. So even if you say you're a brown, but you want a little more reddish, you may look in the reds because you might find a fun surprise color Great there. Great point. Thank and you. what is so magical and delicious about like, wigs I and our colors, <laughs> I love the words, is that with our hair, we're used to describing it's one color and that's right. the color we should wear. But ladies, it's so fun to switch around. We have so many clients yes. that they will own Katie in four and five colors yes. or any wig or they'll switch around like I do too. Right. And so don't box yourself. Don't limit yourself with wigs. Be who you want to be and let your wigs choose how you're going to look each day. Amen. <laughs> also, if you're thinking, Thank well, you. my makeup doesn't go, try just changing your makeup a little bit for different right. colors. Like for me, if I know I'm doing a video and I'm going to be doing light blonde colors, I'm definitely going to put on more makeup and a little darker makeup. What? Or if you're doing just reds, you may go a little more that direction. So you kind of feel free to play with your makeup, your eyeshadow, your lipstick, your blush, so that you can more easily go into different colors. Right. Out of the box, ladies. Yeah. Get kick it out of the box with our wigs. That makes it so fun. Yeah. So this is Toasted Brown still. Beautiful. And, um, it's just another very natural color. Again, it's it's a very fine blend, not chunky highlights at all, but just a beautiful, warm, natural color. So we'll do our twist -a -roo. So like the medium brown's a lot more cool where Toasted Brown's a lot warmer. warmer. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> So next, Rochelle is putting on marble brown. Yes, these will be close. So you'll see, yes, these are very close, but you'll see that the marble brown has a little more of a, of like a caramel highlight, where the toasted has a little more of a light red highlight. Yeah, I think you can really see that. 
Yes, this is a really good comparison. Yes. So a little lighter. And if you're uh -huh. a naturally a light, like I would call my hair is a light mousy brown in its natural state. Just a light brown. And so marble brown is a great color to choose for right. that. Just a little up. Right. Are yeah. We, are we ready? Oh, I'm going. Oh, you're going. Okay. Go. And you know what's amazing, honey, and no. viewers? I'm really looking at your hair with a critical eye. I am like, my nose I is know. almost in your hair. And I'm looking, and honest to goodness, I can't tell it's a wig. Well, <laughs> you're, getting a little, you're getting in my personal space now. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm looking at the size. Our wigs are amazing. <laughs> I resell myself every time we do a video like this, which is a good thing. So I'm going to be putting on, not to push you forward, we just have so many colors. Okay. Here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's going to be like lunchtime. I'm the yapper. She's the doer. That's why we work so well together. <laughs> so this color is called Honey Wheat. So it's um, a rooted color and it's going to mm. have a light, it's kind of like a light brown with and even lighter brown. <laughs> These are great to compare yes. right now if you're Ooh, in the soft yeah. browns. Danielle's pumping and not, I am flattening. How do you not, like that? Not my normal look, but fun for a change. Okay, for and a also, change. you know, this does flip out, but I want you to watch. Nope. Mm -mm. You don't need a brush, Danielle? Don't need a brush. <laughs> I'm just using my fingers. Check that out. It's oh, like magic. Love Damn. it. Katie yeah. Look is at that. every woman. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't, I'm not a good singer. All right. So, so this is that honey wheat. So you'll see it's just a beautiful, cool. It's a cool color. So very close, yeah. but a little softer, lighter around the face. Right. Beautiful. And like we said, the colors you're seeing come in a, a, so many of our different wigs and hair pieces. So take notes on these colors overall, not even just for this style. Great point. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I felt like it was also. <laughs> <laughs> these long videos are getting a little punchy here. <laughs> we're not even Thank to the- Thank you for wanting these <laughs> videos because I get to hang with my girl when we're making them. We're not even into the reds yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're actually going into the reds. So we can both take them off. Yeah. Woo. Into red. Brown down. Oh, that was good. <laughs> did you rehearse that? I did not. <laughs> My voice. Uh, okay. So, Rochelle is going to be putting on raspberry ice. Ooh la la. Which is a, a, dark, a deep red that's rooted. And then oh, I'm going to be putting yes. on chestnut, which is a non rooted red. Gorgeous colors. Ah. Uh. And honey, yes. I find that when I pull this hair out a little bit, it makes my rounder face mm. come. I see that. In a yeah. little. Do you see that? I do. I do. Versus just like this. Yeah, I see it. Cause it. Yeah, I got it. Got Tip it. of the day <laughs> for all of us. There's a lot of tips today. There. There's a, there are a lot of tips. But look at this yeah. again. I, there are some colors I feel more glamorous mm -hmm. in, and I, you know, I'm just a glamorous. For you, I Tiny think girl. when they have the little lighter highlights. I love that. That's a, a good yes, one. Yes, it lifts me. Like the almond spice. This one has these lighter golden highlights. Right. Just that little, so that even when it's dark, it's not all dark. Especially. Right. Right. So especially on dark wigs. Yes. Great point. Or like me, I like the just dark. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, but that's what I'm used to. Zone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So <gasps> raspberry ice R, oh. the rooted, and then I have on chestnut. Look at this color, ladies. <laughs> Do you see it all? Guys, I see every bit of it. <laughs> now I see it even more. So, Rochelle is putting on the next one. I'm up. Which is Terracotta. Oh, yes. H. This is a... Like, have you ever seen like a terracotta pot before, you know? Yes. Like that beautiful clay red <gasps> color. Huh, not the best description, but 
And I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm not like, you know, this isn't a commercial. This is information for you. This is a documentary of our <laughs> colors. And, but I get so excited and I think every color, as long as I have blush, lipstick, mm -hmm. some eyeshadow, right. my eyebrows are a little bit darker for today. Mm -hmm. As long as I have those, I have so many choices yes. and it's fun to see yourself in different colors. Yes. Okay. Oh, very pretty. Like you said, a little pull up mm -hmm. here. It's pretty with your eyes. I always think red looks pretty with your eyes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Oh, sorry. As I scratch you. It's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like Aunt Margaret in this wig with these bangs. So, so I'm fun. putting on the next one, which is going to be a lighter red called Copper Glaze. It's going to be a, a much lighter red, and it has little bits of blonde running through it, uh, golden blonde running through it as well. Are you still hanging in with us? If you need to pause and use the restroom or get some something to drink, we understand. We'll still be here when you come back. We'll wait. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh copper yes, glaze. Danielle. I copper glaze. Look at you. Look at me. Can you go lighter sometimes so we can look more like mother daughter? That's what the wigs are for. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so this is copper glaze. So you'll see it's a lighter copper color with the golden blonde highlights throughout it, like. More subtle highlights, it's nothing too chunky. I look like I've never seen no. it before, but oh, I really, I, they're all new to me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever worn Katie and Copper Glaze, actually. So, mm. I mean, probably not. Okay. So, I like her. Love it. Let's do it. Rochelle is now going to be putting on Katie in Maple Sugar R. This is going to be the lightest red. But how I talked about, you know, how colors can be in different categories. This could be considered like a light brown. It could be considered a dark blonde. It's one of those kind of colors that can go a lot of different directions as well. Yes. So this is that maple sugar R color. Done. Gorgeous. Just very versatile, natural color. And then it has these little like blonde highlights throughout it also. Yes. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I can kind of feather it this way. That's cute. So many different ways to mm. wear Katie. I could tease her if I want. Yeah, that's cute. Totally different. So this concludes our reds. <laughs> so now we're going to move into the blondes. Woo! So I'm going to be putting on Ice Smoke R, and Rochelle is going to be putting on Mochaccino R. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So you'll see, yes, I brush the front, that little front here. I just hold the front, just brush that little bit every time. It just kind of helps me break it up. If I don't do it, I feel like I kind of got to work on the middle. I love more. that. You may get me out of my shake. Whoa. I know. That's serious. It's, big. it's only like 40 years I've been shaking <laughs> wigs. You heard it, ladies. <laughs> I'm not committed yet, though. <laughs> mm. We're just plain doing our thing. <laughs> I like that. Don't mind us. <laughs> I think it's, uh, let us know if it's helpful as we're putting on wigs to show you what we do with them because we will do whatever helps. Yes. So I just changed the part. It's really cute. Really, really cute. I'm just taking this one all the way down. Oh. Wow. Look what you did with Katie. Just some little pads, some little, mm -hmm. kind of almost pulling the hairs a little down. Look at that. Oh, Wait. you topped me this round, <laughs> Danielle. <laughs> Get some points. So I'm wearing the ice smoke. Now that we're done playing, I'm wearing the ice smoke R color, which is going to be a medium brown base, and then it's going to have these great light blonde highlights all throughout it. 
And then Rochelle is wearing the Mocha Chino R, which is a kind of like a light golden brown base with a beautiful golden light blonde highlight mm -mm -mm. all throughout as mm -mm -mm. well. And, and what you said, I just want to reiterate again because I want to say iced mocha. You hear the word iced, you think cool. But I can see that. I can wear that and I'm warmer. Oh, and right. so because there's so many different color blends mm. in our wigs, right. I don't want to see you get stuck on, I have to have a cool color or I have to have a warm color. Because the beauty is a, most of our wig colors, there's a selection of choice of colors that really lend itself to warmer or cooler. Right, so you kind of just can work pull like with your face if you're good warmer it can kind of pull towards the warmer if you're good right. cooler it can pull towards the cooler right good point Ooh, i had to redeem I myself <laughs> <laughs> that's so true yes so now i'm going to be putting on spring honey which is a wonderful classic blonde it's um no chunky highlights, just a like, amazing blend of a ton of different blonde colors. Very, very natural. Bam! Yes. Done. That's like two seconds. Cute. Really cute. So, again, just a beautiful, just blended blonde color. Almost a beigey blonde, mm -hmm. yeah, not exactly. a, not to the golden, right? So, yes. Next, Rochelle is putting on her favorite color. <laughs> Her most, her most worn color. I don't know. My most she has worn a lot of color. Favorites, so. Oh yes, I was gonna <laughs> say. Uh, I don't know, but absolutely. This is not my F. And this is why, because the brightness right. around my face. Right. I feel like I have more color. I yeah. feel more tan because of this blonde highlight. Yeah. But you know, honey, you can wear nutmeg F. Oh yeah, yeah. Too, yeah. because of the darker roots. Exactly. And so, so can. <laughs> and it's funny, I was thinking as I was doing my turn, she... <laughs> wow, it was a quick thought. <laughs> the Nutmeg F, it kind of has like a strawberry blonde, which kind of leans towards the red, and then it has this light, light blonde, which is the blonde, and then it has the root, which is the brown. So it can kind of work with all the different colors and it just pulls towards yes. any of those. It kind of has all three. It really does. And that's I can, what I think about while I'm turning. And that's why it's, <laughs> so, I'm thinking about lunch because <laughs> I don't eat breakfast anymore. <laughs> I love that it's got all those colors. So pretty much every one of you out there can wear Nutmeg F. It's right. got the blondes, the reds, the browns. Right. How could that be wrong? Yeah. I like, love it. I still love it. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting on Sugar Cane R. So you'll see it's kind of similar. Well, no, it's a little lighter than that, I guess. But it has like a, a light, light red. It's just not nearly as pronounced as the as I gotta the watch the cell bar. <laughs> so it's like it has those similar colors, but they're a little more like blended. Yeah, there's my my hair's coming out everywhere. That's okay. It's a more of a mono color mm -hmm. than Nutmeg F. It's, it's a lot of highlights. Has a lot of highlights. These are more, it's like more finely blended uh -huh. colors. Mm -hmm. Very pretty, but I do see the mm -hmm. subtle lines. Right. And they're not little thin lines. There's very close colors. Yes, that was really good. A little of this blonde <laughs> running through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but very yeah. pretty. Like if you've been coloring your hair and you're not really having it woven, but you're sick to death of having to do it or getting it done, fabulous color. Yeah. I mean, They're but every color is fabulous. I never mind. <laughs> I'm wrong. Here 
Your turn. All right. So the next color Rochelle is going to be putting on is Vanilla Lush. So Vanilla Lush is a beautiful, like, it's so hard to describe. It's a warm, <laughs> very light, very light blonde, but it does have that warmth of, I don't want to say red, but it, but right. it is, has a warmth to it. Yeah. It's not a cool blonde, it's a more of a warm. And then it has these really light blondes in it. Yes. So the next one I'm going to be putting on is called Sandalwood H. So this is going to be a rooted color. And it's going to be, you'll see it has similarities to the Vanilla Lush, but again with those roots. Oh, so pretty. I don't know. Got my hairline, even my tabs. And again, whoop, that's a lot of my hair poking out, but <laughs> again, here is my hair. And then here right. are the roots on the wig. Right. Which just makes sense. And just a touch of your dark yes, hair. Yes. You don't want to put too not much Not like pulling out. it out or anything. But yes, that looks so natural Thank on you. you. So next, Rochelle is putting on a creamy fan top. favorite Creamy Toffee yes. R. It is a color that most all of our ways and pieces come in. It's a really popular, really, really natural blonde color. Look at it. Just That's great. So, just so natural. I love it. So it has like kind of some golden blondes and it has these light blonde mm -hmm. highlights. So just, you know, most of our wigs have more of like a subtle highlight. Nothing crazy chunky, just very right. natural. Beautiful. And you can see you're a little warmer and this is a little cooler looking. Yeah. Both beautiful colors. So the next color I am putting on is Mocha H. So this is gonna be another lighter blonde. Not too much highlighting, really just a really nice fine blend of blondes. My dark hair is starting to poke mm -hmm. through. Pretty. A little more of a beigeier mm -hmm. blonde. Right. Really beautiful. Thank you. I see all the little subtle, none of Godiva's secret wig colors are just a one color. Right. So when you're looking, and I'm looking yeah. really close. You can really see all there those. There are yeah. just a beautiful blend. Right. It's so natural looking, right? Right. See that? There we go. So next, we're going to be going into the super light blonde. So Rochelle is going to be putting on creamy blonde. That is the lightest non-rooted blonde color. And then I'm going to be putting on champagne R, which oh, is the lightest rooted blonde so color. So pretty. Mm -hmm. I have to yell it when I really mean it. So pretty. So that's my hair. <laughs> and I, what's that? <laughs> You go away now. <laughs> Only your little side friends get to stay out. Gee, you're a lot taller than I am today. I, what the heck? Day, I try to tell you this. Is that why you're wearing your wigs higher too? <laughs> I always tell her I'm taller. She knows oh, I'm going to have to get those high shoes from now on. I'm going to end up like this in <laughs> another know. 10 years. <laughs> Oh, honey. Mom. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Not there yet. No, you said like a while from it. <laughs> a long, long while. So here's the two light, non-rooted and rooted. Really pretty soft colors. Very soft. And one thing that you've talked about before with this light blonde is like say you're a light brown and you're maybe wanting to start heading to gray but not like commit to gray that this is a very soft 
light, mm -hmm. it's a blonde still, not a gray, but kind of a good transition color as right. well. Right, it's not a white, it's not a gray, right. it's a soft, light blonde. So yeah. even if you're a darker blonde or more golden, going a little softer, I'm not saying you have to. Just a I have girlfriends beautiful and they are still dark, dark brown hair. It's what yes. you like, but it's another alternative for going lighter. Right. For whatever reason. So now we're going to show you the two gray colors. So I am going to be putting on Sandy Silver, which is a brownish gray. And then Rochelle's going to be putting on Silver Stone, which has a ton of different gorgeous gray colors blended together. Our beloved. Look, beloved. nothing. I'm doing <laughs> nothing. I love that. Yes. I, for me, seriously, it's two minutes. And then I'll put little bobby pins or wear our wig grip band. We have many ways to secure our wigs, and we have videos on how to do that. But yes. It's so easy. So I'm wearing the Sandy Silver, which is going to be that, that kind of medium brown blended with gray. And then you'll see the lighter gray here in the front. And then Rochelle has on Silverstone, which in the back here you'll see it's a little darker gray. And then kind of a cool, like a little light gray here and a very light gray, almost white but not quite, yes. in the front. And we have it lighter in the front because it's so realistic. That's right. typically where women start going gray, start going lighter first. So right. it, it just makes sense. Right. And so if you're loving kind of looking for those longer gray wigs, be, besides Katie, we have some other really great long gray wigs. We have longer, Candace, longest. our long, long, beautiful wig in Silverstone. Right. And then also Taylor, which is about here with the bang. We have Rochelle that's kind of a little longer wavy. Mm -hmm. So we really have focused on bringing in some different, more youthful and more stylish, shorter and longer gray wigs. So yes, be sure honey. to check those out. There's a big secret and the secret is not every woman that goes gray has a short perm, right? <laughs> right. So we are... <laughs> we hear ya. Yes. So we are constantly <laughs> adding grays to our collection, stylish gray wigs to our collection. Yes. So this concludes. We Should didn't return. Just kidding. It doesn't conclude. We're close. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> so this concludes all of the colors of our Katie wig. So we want to thank you so much, first for watching this long video, but also we just want to thank you for your support, for your comments, for sharing us with the people that you know in your life and Thank you for watching. So we have to keep making more videos together. Yes. Thank you so much. I can blame it on all of you and business. Yes. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you. Bye.